I'm an extremely loud man. <laughs> Does anybody else feel what I'm feeling right now? Anyone feel how special this really is? You know, we've read about a little tiny bit of rain, but as I set up the street just now, three months with more than are here crammed down in there and when it rained like this honestly it served as a chance to get up and freshen up <laughs> it's true you stood out here and you stripped down to your kilt and you prayed it would rain just a little more and the scuppers would take it away and maybe just maybe she'd snuggle up tonight <laughs> This is a wonderful place to be right now. We're about to, uh, we're going to have some great entertainment by Sandy Mackay and John Spider McDonald. But before we do, we've got uh, our photographer, uh, Leonard Shivery. Leonard, where are you? There's Leonard. What we're going to do is we want to get a photo op. Leonard, do you need the masses to move? What do you need here? Get your umbrellas down. If at all possible, you're leaving off the wrong deck. That's it. She's off in Jamaica. <laughs> Troublemaker. Just so you know, if you go to the visitor center, the Hector Heritage Key, there is a form there where you can order your photographs. They're $15 a piece. If you want them shipped to you, they're $17. I'm sure we all want in on that opportunity. Don't rush there now. We'll heal the bowl. Uh, right now, I'm going to hand over to John Spider McDonald and Sandy McKay. I urge you to get comfortable. We're going to stay on the boat for a little bit of music, and then we're going to uh, disembark shortly. So make yourself comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Pass on that one, thank you. <laughs> September day, the Hector dropped anchor, and after nearly two and a half months at sea, the weary passengers made their way to shore. And at journey's end lay many years of hard, back-breaking labor to make the promise of a new beginning come true. Now, the voyage of the ship Hector has long been celebrated in tales of early Highland settlement. It marked the beginning of a mass immigration to the New World, one which would have a lasting and profound eff effect on the social makeup of this continent. But it's best remembered for those brave souls who, in the face of the unknown, were prepared to sacrifice all, and who, through their perseverance and courage, made a better life for themselves and those who would follow. Upon Loch Broom Harbor, a proud Highland lad setting forth to the new world. I sighed my farewells with a heart that was heavy. The Scotland I loved was at Scotland no more. Oh, bless the ship Hector that carried us over for stormy deliverance. Heaven Sutherland, far from the motherland, on Victor's fair shores, a new Scotland we raise. Young lady in the blonde 
curly hair against the port. Starving. Against the ball pit. Port. Thank you. Thank you. Forgive my ignorance, please. We have. Yes, he, <laughs> he is a tough crowd. <laughs> Good Lord. What can we say? Three months. Three months at scene, you're keeping us here. The buffet's over there, dude. <laughs> Back here against the gunnel is Gail Spears. She just happens to be the great, great granddaughter of Captain Spears. Wow. <laughs> All right, women and children, first if you can, let's leave the vessel in an orderly fashion. We'll ask you to group in front of the uh, music area, please. We're going to have a little more of uh, an enter, a little more of a time with you. So come on up. <laughs> Not just yet. I'll wait a minute. Very good. There will be tours of the vessel after we're all up if we all come back on in small patches. There's a corn boil! In an orderly fashion, let's leave the vessel. Thank you. Ring the bell, please.